Hey guys, Six Much here today. I have a review for you guys. It's been kind of overdue. Um, I got a request a while ago for these from Coca Cola Sexy Boy, so I figured that finally today I would do them. Uh, today I'm doing Next Blue. Um, I've heard that these are really, really smooth. Some people even find them a little too smooth. Um, but uh, I'm going to try them out anyways. Never had these before, so we will have to go and see. Um, as you can see, it is the blues. It's got the blue box. Or the box is blue. Uh, it says next with um, dark blue, lighter blue, and silver. And these are. Uh, yeah, they got their little crest or their logo there. Um, same thing on the top, next, except there's no crest. Crest, and it says experience the exceptional smooth taste of next. On the bottom, she's got some French bullshit. So, I don't know if you guys can see that, but uh, yeah, and then they got the three quarter warning, which I'm not gonna read, and. Yeah, they got another one on the side there. Let's see if it's nope. It's just says that it's just about the hydrogen cyanide that's in these or something. So anyway, yeah, that's the box. It's just pretty much blue on all sides. It has it says next there as well. Um, we got the little duty logo. It says 20 cigarettes in there. So these are the king size, and yeah, never had these before. Uh, when you first open up the pack, it says next up there in the top with a little bit of, uh, you guys are probably not going to be able to see it, but it has like a phone number for comments and stuff. The foil is just plain silver foil that you get the fuck, you get it the fuck out of there, and then you got your cigarettes. So let's take a look at the cigarette itself, and then we will smoke her it up. I already packed these, so, yeah, um... I'm trying to see if it's perforated. It doesn't look like it is perforated for some reason. I thought that these would be light. Yeah, there's no perforations on this. Weird. Yeah, not from what I'm seeing anyways. Anyway, the cigarette design, it says next there in blue. In a box thing, and then it's got a blue stripe, and then a silver stripe, so... It's a white white filter. Yeah, non perforated for some reason. I don't know why. I was expecting them to be perforated, but they're not, so um yeah, let's uh, let's get it going you guys. Oh they smell pretty good too, but yeah, we'll see. I've had I've had the next reds. If you guys haven't seen that review, go to it and watch it. But um, these are the blues, so. I'm kind of running out of things to do as well for videos. Up here, I mean, they got a couple ones that I haven't really even heard of. I think they got like some Vogue or something. I don't know. It sounds kind of like a chick one, but whatever. <coughs> whatever. taste uh, you got a tobacco flavor it is lighter than the reds of course because these aren't the full flavors I don't think they're supposed to be lights but I don't know why they're not perforated once again it's kind of weird um, yeah it's it's a smoother light flavor of the reds so it's pretty good I don't mind having lights and Full flavors. It doesn't bother me really at all. They both taste great, so yeah. Um, I personally do prefer the cork filter to these, um, or to any white cigarettes. Like even the Belmonts, those have whites and stuff, and the cord reds have 
uh, the core filter as well as the next reds, but these don't, so eh, it's okay. So, yeah, no, uh, pretty decent flavor. It is definitely smoother than the other ones. Um, yeah, it's it's a pretty decent cigarette from what I'm seeing so far. It's not burning super fast either at the moment, so. I don't find these actually super smooth, like, too smooth. I think they're just kind of middle of the road. I know some people find them very, very smooth, too smooth. But, um, I actually don't mind these. These are actually really, really good. Hmm. I wasn't quite sure if I was going to like them, but I actually do like them. Hmm. So... Yeah, I finished, uh, well, I'm, actually, I'm, I'm halfway through my Dijarums, but I figured I'd pick these up anyways, because I don't want to smoke those as a daily, they're not good. I remember having, like, five in a row, or s something like that, and it, it wasn't that great, <laughs> just saying. But, uh, Yeah, no, these aren't burning very fast at all. Well, yeah, they're burning better than average anyways, so. <clears throat> Why not start rating it now? Um, the box, I do like the next boxes. I like the designs on them. I wish there was more of them and not this freaking three-quarter health warning with another side warning and shit, but whatever. Um... Yeah, these are made by Benson and Hedges as well. But, uh, as far as the box design goes, I'm going to give the box probably a 9 out of 10. It's an okay looking box. It's not my favorite looking one, but it is nice. Um, the cigarette design itself, the white filter with the blue and the silver, it looks really, really nice. I like that as well. It's not the best I've seen. It's going to be about a 9. Uh, taste wise on these <coughs> they are decent they are a little smooth compared to their uh, full flavors but um, I mean what else do you expect if you're buying a light um, taste wise it's pretty decent I'm going to give that rating a I'll give it a 9 out of 10 as well I don't find them too smooth um, buzz wise they do have a little bit of a buzz not the best but it is decent it's passable I'm gonna give that an 8 as well burn time they do last a little bit longer than average um, I am going to give the burn time on these around a, I'll give it a 9 out of 10 uh, after tax I paid seven dollars and 84 or 85 cents they are reasonably priced, which is really nice. Um, Price-wise, I'm probably going to give these a... I'll give them a 9.5 out of 10. They are reasonably priced. I don't know why there's such a price difference between the reds and the blues, if I remember correctly, but... There is. Um, Overall, I am going to give these cigarettes a <coughs> I'll give them a pretty solid 9 out of 10. They are very decent. I do recommend picking some of these up if you guys are more into light flavors. Uh, yeah, 9 out of 10 overall. And some other guys to check out is Tom's Cig Reviews, Shiggy Joe 69, um, RJ the Smoker, Smoking Revs, um, the Doctor Cig Reviews. Check those guys out. Really good tobacco reviews of different cigarettes and some dip, some cigars, some pipe. You know, all that good shit. Uh, make sure you guys rate, comment, subscribe. 
send me a message of any questions or recommendations that you might have. Um, definitely some recommendations though, I'm going to know that kind of stuff. But um, yeah, uh, make sure you guys do all that good shit. And that is pretty much it. This has been my review of Next Blues. So, yeah, just hang tight. I'll have my next review up once I'm done uh, these ones. And we'll get rocking around, rocking around the Christmas tree or something. I don't know. Whatever. Um, yeah. That's pretty much it, you guys. Thanks for watching. And only got a couple more drags on this, so I'm going to end it now. And we'll see you later. So, have a good day, guys. Alright, bye.